life. In this video, we are going to talk about the basics, the basis of biodigester construction and what biodigester is. What I'm doing right now is I'm at a location here in Accra, doing inspection for a property, a commercial property. And I thought that I could get you this video, introduce you to one of the earlier videos that I did for those who are interested in learning how to construct the biodigester. The video was part of my learning course for those who were taking part in the construction of digester but i've decided i'm going to give it up for free and then i'm going to upload it up so check it out if you're new to this channel subscribe hit the bell notification for new videos that we do all the time and then like the video you can also leave your comment below let's go Before we talk about what biodigesters are about and what they do, it is important for you to know that these biodegradable on site biodigesters were the ones that have been introduced in Ghana roughly since 2014. This happened after the cholera outbreak that killed over 100 of Ghanaians, and then the government, together with the World Bank, embarked on a policy. Of just ensuring that this technology which basically biodegrades toilet waste in terms of how to treat toilet wastewater management becomes prominent the idea or the mindset is that the traditional manholes the kvips and the septic system that we have been using over the years have not served as well knowing that in ghana we had a problem with how to manage solid waste these biodegradable biodigesters became a game changer for us and that's how the technology started now there are various forms of it but what we are going to learn in this particular course is the biofuel type that has been designed and is being implemented and is called governmental approval in ghana i will teach you the two main forms the one that started this whole biodigester construction in ghana and then the new improved one that has got enhancement on it right so what is a biodigester now we say biodigesters are simple on-site biodegradable toilet wastewater technology or system that biodegrades human waste and treats fecal matter this is done through a technology or digestion process known as anaerobic digestion where naturally occurring microorganisms break down human waste in the absence of oxygen so that the effluent that's produced in the final round is a clear odorless one and fly free that can easily be disposed in the environment right so these biodigesters are basically in a sharp contrast to what we have grown and have become used to in this part of the world which is the septic system or the kvip or the ventilator pits and then the manholes that we have all grown to get used to whereby solid waste is stored in a tank for a specific number of months or years and then the tanker will have to come and dislodge it and go and dump it in a site sometimes it's dumped in the sea untreated and that affects aquatic life so when this biodigesters came it was a game changer it was helping to because the solid that's been produced is easily disposed and then there is no remains that will affect the environment. Because biodigesters have become an effective means of managing toilet wastewater, most people have wondered and are mostly asking how does the technology work? And how is it that a tank as small as this size that people have seen will be able to take care of a whole family, a whole household, or a whole public toilet or a whole school the reason is that when you compare the size of a biodigester to the septic tank or to a kvip construction you realize that the size is small and then people are most of the time wondering and they don't have actually belief when you tell them that this is what they need for their toilet wastewater management so then the question how do biodigesters work have always arisen whenever this technology is being proposed anywhere you go if you become an installer, that's one of the key questions that you'll be required to answer 
each house or everybody who calls you and want to inquire about your services. What I have explained over the years is that these biodegrader biodigesters work in very simple forms. There is a digester bed and then there will be layers of these digester beds. And then the fecal matter which comes from either the KVIP seat or comes from the WC, that's the water closet from the house, is connected into the digester. So there's an inlet pipe and then there's an outlet. Let's talk about the inlet. The inlet is what carries the solid waste. So the solid waste comes into the digester and goes on top of the digester, which you will be required to fill with materials and then organisms that will aid in the decomposition. So after all these things has been done, there's rapid separation of the wastewater from the human waste. The wastewater goes into a soak hole, which we'll discuss later, and then the solid waste stays in the digester. Now this solid waste works in the such a way that microorganisms will feed on them and then they'll break them down. You break them down in such a way that after two, three or four, five years, depending on how many users are going to use the digester, then those remains will be collected and it can be easily disposed of in the environment. Some will have to require you digging a small hole and taking these remains, which is not going to be a lot, and then burying it at the backyard or just further treatment of it into a fertilizer. Right? Remember, this is in the sharp contrast septic tank system or the traditional manhole whereby the solid together with the water will have to be collected and then taken out for, to a treatment plant to be done. In the digester, the solid waste will be treated right at your backyard and then it will be environmentally safe to be disposed of in the environment. Because of the rapid separation of the wastewater from the solid waste, what is left is the waste that will not breed any other because then the microorganisms will feed on them and then they break them down into manageable waste. I give example whereby a dog, you go to a park, an amusement park, and then you have a dog with you. When the dog's litters, and then you do not collect after the dog, and you leave the litters there, two or three days later, when you come back to the place where the dog littered, you see that the poopoo is slowly biodegrading, and it's changing, and it's becoming like the sun in which it was left there. Right? So that's exactly what the biodigester tries to replicate in the digester chamber. So that the human waste, together with the environment that has been created for it, is what will biodegrade it and then it will break it down for easy disposal in the environment.